We're going to do an F test today, a real short example of one. An F test compares the variances between at least three different groups, so we have a baby problem here. You need to figure out what the bracket terms are first. The first bracket term is the A bracket term. Bracket term, you need to add up each individual group. 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 5 is 14. This looks like 19. This looks like 24. Then you square them. It's very methodical. 14 times 14, I believe, is 196. You're going to add everything together. 19 times 19, I believe, is 361. 24 plus 24, I believe, times 24, I believe, is 576. You get a grand total of 1133. Important, you need to divide that sum by the number of individuals in the group. So there's one, two, three, four. There's four in each one, so you're going to divide this by four. That gives you a grand total of, looks like, uh, 283.25. Like that is your A bracket. Now we're going to find the Y bracket term. To find a Y bracket term, you simply square each individual from all of the groups, square each individual measurement, observation, whatever you want to call it. Square them all and then add them all up. So here it's going to be 16 plus here is 25, blah, 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 plus blah, 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 blah. All the way over here is going to be 36. Last one is going to be 36. Square them. Add the ball up, divide by one. Doesn't change the value. So the Y bracket term is 293 from this data. Okay, now you need to find the T bracket term. To find the T bracket term, you add up each and every individual 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 all of these guys 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 all of these guys 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 6 close bracket square that divided by divide this sum by the total number of individuals in all groups so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you're going to divide that number by 12. Got it? That's going to come out to be... That comes out to be 57 squared divided by 12, and that comes out to be 270.75. That is your T bracket. So now you have your bracket terms, A, Y, T. You're ready to put those into the ANOVA table. Okay, we're putting up an ANOVA table. Between groups go this way, within groups goes this way, total groups is the bottom. We're going to use the bracket terms to figure everything out. The sum of squares for the between groups is A minus T. So it's 283.25 minus 270.75. That looks like 12.5. The degrees of freedom for the between group is A minus 1. A is the number of groups. So three groups minus 1. You've got two degrees of freedom. 
The mean square for the between groups is the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom, and that looks like 6.25. 6.25. The within group sum of squares is y minus a. That looks like 9.75. The degrees of freedom for the within group is A times N minus 1. A is 1, 2, 3. N minus 1, N is the number per group, so that's times 4 minus 1 is 3 times 3, that's 9. And then the mean square of this is the sum of squares divided by the degrees of freedom, and that comes out to be 1.5. 0, 8, roughly. So your F is, your F statistic is going to be 6.25, that's your between group, divided by with your within group, 1.08. You divide that out, it looks like you get 5.79. That is your F statistic. From the F distribution table in the back of the book, at the numerator of 2, denominator of 9, from the degrees of freedom, the textbook says that we should approximately get uh, an F value of 4.26 when, when you have the cutoff level of alpha at 0 0.05. So this is what the book says, and this is what you got. So you definitely have some significance here from this data because this is larger than that. So there, that means that there is, a, there is significance here, that there is some difference between the different groups. Thank you, I hope you liked it. MGZ, out. Ready boss, you're on in three, two, one, and action. You square everyone. <laughs> I keep going. Yeah. Well, good. That means we got to finish before she gets in here.